Hi everyone, so it is the afternoon after Wisman's Wood. It's, uh, it's only about midday right now and so my plan to camp near Wisman's Woods to revisit there tomorrow morning has completely gone out the window. So I've decided just to walk out, not really plan it, and see where we end up. Now, I want to camp up on one of these tours and it's trying to decide which one's best. So I think the first target is straight up, straight up here, so I'll have a better view. The big one up here should really have the best vantage point. to the first first target so I'm just gonna have some water snack and then push on to the big one but yeah it's really nice out it's very very humid it's overcast at the moment but I've got quite a good feeling about today I think this afternoon the, the clouds will break up and uh, hopefully we get some nice light out in the landscape quick so they might blow over or this might be it now for the for the night we'll wait and see it's a bit early to put the tent up now so I'm just going to explore a bit shelters on the other side of these rocks so I'll have a look see if I can find somewhere flat and yeah chill out for a bit I'm gonna have a coffee and then get the camera out and start trying to find some shots So this is as laid back photography as you can get. So I'm just chilling. I'm gonna pitch the tent just here. It's on a bit of a slope, but it's completely sheltered from the wind. It's really, really nice. So it's still pretty early in the day. Well, it's only about 3 p.m. The cloud is rolling on and off the hills. And at the moment, I've just got the long lens on and there's some people walking right in the far distance. So I'm just uh, using them to show off the scale of the landscape because it's really big around them so they look tiny. I think it's quite a nice shot. Um, we've got a tour out this way which is a really nice shape so I'm shooting that and also just the textures on the hills over here. So I'm just playing around really, making the most of the time. But um, yeah, maybe they'll come out alright. Let's, let's have a look, I'll show them now. Yeah, it's about four o'clock now. I think I'm going to put the tent up. It's gone very quiet here, and uh, <laughs> I'm just—I really want to lie down. I want to lie down before before sunset. So we just have this amazing break of light here. We can see there's a blue gap in all this cloud, just blue sky. And the light's coming straight through, almost in a beam, just lighting up a patch, a patch of the moorland. So I can't, I can't fit it all in, 
just shooting at 70 mil the landscape orientation so I'm going doing the vertical pano and I think this could look great so all I'm doing at the moment is just moving around in a circle <laughs> just at the same spot so I moved <laughs> another what's it three hours um, up this direction it's a far hill it's very slender sleek shape it's just lit up by sunlight so again going in for the pano So it's getting really tricky now to decide where to point the camera because all around me you're getting breaks of light and this is just the benefit of being high up on a vantage point seeing such an expanse of open land just all the way around me so any break in this pretty you know full carpet of cloud any break we get to see it So we've got light, it's coming into the sea and it's lighting up the boulders but it is too harsh right now into the scene back with the tent and the tour here but we're getting bright breaks now straight across the straight across the moors and it is vibrant blue and yellow getting some zigzag and some greens in So it's been an absolute panorama <laughs> bonanza. Uh, we're only about 20 minutes, 25 minutes from sunset now. This is so close, we're just getting teased. We're getting more breaks in the clouds, but um, it's just impossible to tell if it's gonna come through. I knew it, as soon as I walk off with the GoPro we get light in the scene. <laughs> come on, give us the light. Come on, come on. It's an amazing atmosphere down into the valley. Just in the last couple of minutes it looks like fog is just rolling in. Getting a little bit of colour now. The clouds are breaking up, we've got some higher clouds in the sky. Still a chance we're going to get a break really nice at the moment though As the sky is much softer so I'm able to get all the highlights in without damaging the shadows too much got some nice kind of soft diffused light picking up on the boulders here giving a bit of contrast just a nice warm golden hour glow got really nice soft light now and this colour and tone is really nice, especially with the fog below it. So this is probably the nicest it's been so far. And um, the fog, the fog is upon us because my hands, my hands are wet. I can feel the moisture building on the camera. Everything's, the moisture's in the air. So it's only a matter of time until we're also in the fog. quite soon I think either we're going to be <laughs> covered in fog as well or if there's a miracle the fog sits below the point here so we're above it 
think that's very unlikely given Ridge is on quite a flat hill. Um, well, it depends on the pressure. If it's clear blue sky above now, everything might settle down and for a while we might have a little inversion. But can't predict that, that's for sure. But even still, if the fog comes up while well, we've still got light, it can make for a nice dramatic shot. Anyway, let's just let's just see what happens. But interestingly, behind me, it's really causing some nice layers in the valleys now with the fog just separating from the hills behind. So my temptation at the moment is to get the long long lens back on and shoot off that way. It's actually in now. Feel it forming, and it's forming everywhere around here. I've never experienced this before where, where I've been, just have fog form. So you see a thin layer just forming out across the moorland. And it's this really eerie, soft look with this pink hue on the sky behind. So I've got the long lens on. And I'm just shooting in, just picking up these layers of fog with a soft, really soft undulating hills just pure pastel colors i really really like this right so <laughs> i think that's about it I'm just going to try this pano just once, but I think the lens is just going to get soaked straight away. But I've been shooting down this way just as the fog has come in and sweeps around and just uh, shot into that. Looked really nice. And again, fog again, same as this morning, but a completely different scene and results. So, yeah. Two completely different shoots today, sunrise and sunset. Really happy how both turned out. Um, but I think it's really time for my dinner and bed. <laughs> so soba noodles and uh, chili con carne and uh, a long ass sleep. <laughs> 